Hello everyone and welcome to this tag video. Today we're going to be talking about mini ear headbands. This tag was created by the lovely Christina K and thank you so much for tagging me. I love Minnie Mouse ears so much. I have a quite an extensive collection. Um, may not be the biggest one. I know I've seen collection videos where people have rooms full of ears. I don't get to that point, but I do own a lot more ears than I probably should. And I live right next to the parks and I go there every single week. So even for me, that is too much. But anyway, um, I'm gonna start because I don't wanna make this too long. And the first question is, I have my cell phone here. If you see me looking down, that's what's happening. That's what I'm doing. All right, so the first question is your first pair of ears or the oldest pair that you have. That for me would be this, the original ones. Um, a few years back, I think these were the only ones that they had. And then they came out with another pair. And then after that, business just like bloomed. And now they have thousands of ears. <laughs> They just they keep releasing ears. I think like every couple of weeks, Disney releases a new pair of ears. But I guess I have to keep up with all the small shops that are doing wonderful products, wonderful ears. But anyway, yeah, this pair is my oldest pair. Um, I love, as much as I love the sequin ones and all the very interesting ones, these are the classic and I just had to have them. I love them. I love that. Uh, the ears are like plush. Let me get it close so that you can see. They're just perfect. <laughs> I love having them. <laughs> Second question, uh, the most recent pair. And I've been buying a lot of ears recently because like I said, Disney is releasing ears like crazy. Every time I go to the stores, I see new ones. So there's actually two that I have purchased recently and I'm not really sure which one is the most recent. So I guess I'm going to show you both just in case. So the first one I'm going to show you is the new Celestial Ears. These are black. The background is black and black glitter. And then it also has bigger hex and smaller hex glitters that are iridescent and they change from I'm gonna move it so you can see the color changing hopefully the camera picks it up but it goes from pink to kind of like orange to purple it's so pretty it's stunning the bow has stars that are holographic I don't know if the camera was picking that up but there's a lot going on here I absolutely understand the name. I think it is very well named. And that's one of the most recent ones. And the other very recent one is this one. So again, not sure which one was the most recent, but I almost had a heart attack when I saw this one at the stores. I saw it online when it came out, or I think I saw that it was going to be released and then I missed out on it when it was actually released. And then when I tried to get it, it was already sold out. And I thought I had missed out on it and then now it's available everywhere. <laughs> but I had been looking for it since Disney released the holiday, the, uh, not the holiday, the uh, Halloween merchandise. And I couldn't find it and then one day, boom, they were at Hollywood Studios and I freaked out. If you saw that video, you... You, you saw me freaking out. Okay, um, next question. The most expensive pair, and that would be this lovely baby here. Um, it's, it was a limited release. It's part of like a designer's collection. So that's why those came in such a beautiful box. They even have a dust bag. <laughs> And I got the, um, I only purchased one. I think they released like six or I don't even know how many, but they released one every month for some time. 
and I only got this ones and it, they are the Betsy Johnson ones so they have the signature here and these are so pretty um, the actual ears are kind of lace is this lace I think is it tool I don't know I, I'm not an expert on fabric so I'm not sure I'm just gonna get it close and hope that the camera uh, focuses on it so you can see it for yourself and it has silver glitter everywhere so they're poofy they're super bright they are gorgeous and I love them so those were the most expensive ones I think obviously they don't have the price anymore um, but I think they were like $58 so, I mean, they're not the most expensive ears out there. There are some really quite expensive ones. Uh, ones that light up, that small shops make, and they go to like $200. Um, but those are the most expensive that I own. All right. Number four, most reached for. And um, I do try to like spread the love among all my ears, and I try to switch it up. But I think the ones that I've used the most, this one, this one, I'm trying to kind of show you what it looks like on, I don't know if you care, but <laughs> this one, um, there's just something about this pair that makes me feel that it goes with everything. Probably not. I don't know. I'm not a fashion girl, but it just makes me feel like I can wear them every day and they are so happy i don't know why i feel that they're happy are they happy i like them so i end up using those a lot more than others but i really did try to switch it up number five and it says park pear but i think if i'm not mistaken i watched this video a few days ago so i'm not sure but i think that when she was talking about this one she said I think she used the words, a pair that you would like to show off. Is that what she said? Maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to go with the um, ears. They don't have them anymore for some reason. I don't know why. That had the option to in interchange the um, bow. So they have this little thing here. Uh, how do you call this? I don't know. But they have this little thing here so that you can change two different bows and I only um, I only purchased two I mean I didn't know they were going to get rid of those uh, so soon so I didn't have the chance to buy more I really wanted the Tiki Room and I also wanted Dumbo uh, but I didn't have the chance to so I only got um, let me get it out let me not be lazy um, this is one that I purchased the Haunted Mansion one, and it's super pretty. And the other one, which happens to be my favorite, is Isma. Isma is my favorite villain. I'm not a villains girl, but Isma, she's super funny. I love her, and she's not represented at the parks. Like you never see her merchandise or anything. So I love that I have these. So. Those are the park ears that I chose to show you. Okay, um, number six, small shop pair. I don't own any, but since I started an Instagram account, uh, I think maybe like two months ago, I've been seeing how creative people are and I have fallen in love with so many so I know that I will be buying some very soon. I mean, very soon, not this year. Um, next year, definitely. I want. I already have my eye on a few. I, I saved them on my Etsy. And I have like four or five saved. I'm not gonna buy all four or five, but at least a couple of those. Um, I think, hmm, I don't know, but I think that I might get one with lights just because the park has never done anything like that. I mean, they do have some light up ears that are plastic 
and they just like light up and maybe like move but I mean they like small shops have ears ears like these and they just put lights inside and it's really cool or around it because they're wires I don't I don't know they're really cute they're really pretty and I hope I can get my hands on a couple of them next year number seven a pair with a special memory attached to it and I'm gonna go with this this pair is very special to me because I didn't always live near the parks and one time my husband and I came to just visit the parks and we were staying at a Disney resort and on that day we found out that I was pregnant this was our rainbow baby and um, it's a very special trip in my memory because I mean it that was fantastic news um, not only I was at my happy place but I had received the best news ever and um, I now thankfully have my daughter with me uh, so these will always remind me of that time it was very special number eight holiday pair and Disney has been doing really good stuff for holidays um, whether it's Halloween Christmas blah 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 but these I think these are the most spectacular ears they have ever done for holidays I can't wait for Christmas season to start wearing these. I love them. They are the prettiest thing ever. And the material is kind of suede. I mean, it's not really suede, but it kind of feels like that. And it has this um, bow, which is actually like candy shaped. I mean, you can see that, but it's metallic. So it adds a little extra and they're just, and they are so well made. I'm in love with these. I love them so much. So yeah, those are my favorite holiday pair. The most complimented one. And I really thought about this one because I, but I have to be honest, I, I didn't want to repeat, but I'm going to have to because the truth is that these are the most complimented ones. Most of my other ears are ears that people are used to seeing around the parks, but this ones are different. This one's not, not everyone has seen them and the poofy and everything in person. I get so many compliments every single time that I wear them that um, it wouldn't be fair to name a different pair. This is the truth. So unfortunately I had to repeat same ears for two different questions, but that's how it is. Number 10, a pair that screams you. <laughs> Colorful, bright, happy. I think, um, yeah, <laughs> I think this is it. <laughs> I love these. They are um, newish and actually now that I think about it, are they still available? Because they were released when the parks reopened so that's not that long ago but they at they since they're releasing so many so fast i think they're also discontinuing them very fast um i don't know i can't i can't remember maybe they are still available everywhere but maybe i'm just like my eyes go immediately like i drawn to the newest ones and maybe that's why i haven't seen them but I hope that they are still selling them because everyone should own a pair of those. <laughs> Number 11, single color. I actually have two. Can I do that? <laughs> Is that permitted? I don't know. She didn't say that I couldn't do it. So I'm going for it. Um, the first one that I'm going to show you is this, which I don't know if it counts as single color. Um... I think I'm <laughs> taking advantage of this question now <laughs> because I, I'm going to show you two and I don't even know if this is considered single color. This is holographic, so it shows all colors, but that's exactly why I like it. But under a certain light, it just looks silver. 
so i think that's why i feel like i can count it as a single color i'm gonna go with this one i love it and i also love the red ones because they're so happy and um i don't know i think they just look really good so i had to choose two and the uh last question is bonus pair so it's a pair that you just want to show and it's actually the one i'm wearing this one is not Minnie mouse clearly there's no bow this one is mickey mouse and i love that they did mickey mouse um when they first started coming out with ears they had one mickey mouse pair but it was mickey sorcerer so it had the hat but they didn't have these like just simple black ears like these and um you have if i mean if you watched other videos of mine you have seen this pair a few times i'm in love with it i i don't know why there's just something so special about them oh and they have let me take them off to show you they have uh mickey's signature is it upside down no it's it's okay they have mickey's signature and they are made in this like faux leather material so they kind of look like ears <laughs> and i love them i feel like a real mouse <laughs> when i'm wearing them they're so pretty they're, they're so amazing so glad that they came out with those so that's it everyone um i think i'm new to this tag thing so i think that now I'm supposed to tag a few people and that sounds really fun because being a Disney lover, a Disney um, ear lover, then I do want to see what other people have to say. So I will tag three people and since I don't really know how to do that, I mean, I don't know if there's a button or if there's a way to do it. What I'm going to do is just write here uh, the name of a couple people who will hopefully follow the tag and will allow me to look into their collection and tell me their, uh, their, their choices, their options, what they choose. Because that sounds really interesting to me. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.